Join us now for George's Hidden Treasures, Viewer's Choice, and Action News Primetime with John Pruitt. Welcome to Tacoa Falls here in Stevens County. It's the first stop in this special edition of George's Hidden Treasures. Special because all the places we're visiting were recommended by you, our viewers. Now, many of you thought we should visit more of George's spectacular waterfalls, including this beautiful cascade, Tacoa Falls. It's located on the campus of Tacoa Falls College in Northeast Georgia, and it's known for its beauty, but there's a lot of history here as well. You hear its roar as you walk down the short wooded path. And then you see its full grandeur as you stand at the base of one of Georgia's most magnificent sites. 186 feet higher than Niagara, the water cascading from a sheer cliff into a rock filled pool. You know, it's really a long fall, it's easy to access, and it's just one of Georgia's beauties. Tahita Williams contacted us, suggesting we explore her favorite Georgia hidden treasure, Tacoa Falls. Williams describes her family as waterfall chasers. They travel all around the state to view them. Tell me how you developed your interest in waterfalls. You know, we just ran across that first one. It just took that first one and we fell in love with it. Something about that water falling down and hearing the sound, we fell in love. And you always bring your children? Always bring the kids, absolutely. And tell us how they react to the waterfall. They love it, especially, again, the sound and seeing that waterfall and all the nature around it. They absolutely love it. People have enjoyed the rush of Tacoa Falls for hundreds of years. This image dates all the way back to 1859. You can see people at the falls as a horse-drawn buggy gallops by. The first owners of the land were Cherokee Indians. Legend has it, when they saw the waterfall, they called it Tacoa, which means beautiful. So the falls were very special for the Cherokees when they were here. Yes, yes, yeah, it was very, very special. And the Indians really believed that um, anything that was like a gorge area, that that was um, really sacred, sacred land. And so they had a, a nearby village The area around the waterfall also played an important role in the development of our country's transportation system. The Unicoi Trail passed right through the college campus and crossed the top of the falls, and it's still where you can see it today. And if you walk those pathways, you, you see an area that you can imagine early travelers walking down that trail. Walking and also there was wagon travel. Wagon and also your stagecoach. Your stagecoach came, stagecoach came up from Atlanta and, and surrounding areas and went all the way up to Asheville on that trail. So this was a tourist destination yeah, for, it for was, the well-to-do, I guess. Yes, areas. it was. And they would, and, um, nearby where we had the train stopped here, of course, and the locomotives and everything. And so that was a the destination. They could take the train and come in. And, they take a buggy out to Tacoa Falls. In 1911, Tacoa Falls and 100 acres of surrounding land were purchased by Dr. Richard Forrest. He turned Hat Again, a vacation resort on the property, into Tacoa Falls Institute, a Christian college. And he got what would seem like a great deal on this piece of property. Yeah, he did. He, he paid um, his $25,000, so the asking price in 1911, and he had $10 in his pocket and he paid $10 down, and he owed the balance. Just two years after opening the Institute, Dr. Forrest's faith would be tested. Had again, the facility which housed his school burned to the ground. Kelly Vickers is a former student and now works as the college's registrar. You read the eyewitness account of the burning of Haddock Inn and how as, the, as it was still going up in smoke, uh, the students, the faculty, everyone, although no, no lives were lost in that fire, all earthly possessions and the entire campus was up in smoke. And while that was taking place, the students and the faculty and staff gathered at the foot of the falls to sing 
it is so sweet to trust in Jesus. With help from the community, Dr. Forrest did rebuild Tacoa Institute. However, decades later, another disaster would thrust Tacoa Falls, the college, and the community into the national spotlight. In the early morning of November 6, 1977, after days of heavy rains, a dam above the falls broke, releasing more than 100 million gallons of water. A 30-foot wall of water plunged over the falls and swept through the sleeping campus. Mobile homes, cars, dorm rooms, all were washed away. 39 people lost their lives. Students, college faculty, staff, and their families perished. These scenes from our WSB archives were filmed just hours after the massive flooding. I was among the reporters covering the aftermath. Tacoa Falls Institute reopens on Tuesday, even though the job of rebuilding has just begun. And so has the job of finding out just why the Kelly Barnes Dam collapsed. The dam will probably be rebuilt. But for those who lived through this disaster, the beauty of Tacoa Falls won't mean quite the same thing it did before. Martha Penny is one of those survivors. She and her husband were raising two toddler boys at the time of the flood. Martha's husband, David Flatterjohn, a fireman, rushed to the scene. He never made it back home. At what point did you realize you had lost your husband that night? Well, my present husband, who had come up to see, you know, what was going on with the power and realized the dam had broken, um, knew that Dave had been in that area, and he came down to the house, brought two girls from the college to sit with me, and told me that Dave had been down there near that bridge. And at that point, I really, in my heart, didn't think. I knew there were people that were stranded on the other side, but I thought if he was near that bridge, he didn't make it. And the impact must have been enormous on your life. It was, but you know, I think back and I thought if every one of them had died as individuals, I would have mourned each one of them. But it was just too much to get your mind around, you know? I thought this must be what it feels like to people that are in battle that see large quantities of people killed or something. After a while, you can't. If you stopped and just went through the grieving for each one, you would be just a little bit overwhelmed. But we had a I had a piece about each one of them. Some Tacoa Falls College students who died when their dorms filled with flood water were classmates of Kelly Vickers. Vickers admits their tragic deaths challenged his faith. I knew that God was good. I could not deny that. That commitment had been made. I had seen it. But I didn't understand how it was good, what was good about it. And that's what I really had to work through. And I realized through, through my study, through my devotions, that um, what that good is, that becoming like Christ, is um, trusting God no matter what. A monument engraved with the names of those who died stands at the base of the fall. An investigation found the dam broke because of poor maintenance. It was not rebuilt. The disaster led to passage of the Federal Dam Safety Act which requires dams in Georgia and around the country to undergo inspections. As it has in the past, today, Tacoa Falls College continues to thrive. Students from around the nation and the world come here to study and admire the lasting beauty of Tacoa Falls. It never gets old for me. I mean, it's still a gorgeous waterfall no matter how many times you go there. <laughs> it's like the first thing you hear about when you come to the school. And a lot of people go take pictures in front of it. Or, I mean, you just have, actually have to see it because it's beautiful. We don't have the greatest sports teams or anything like that, but we do have a beautiful creation that God has put on this campus for us. So I think it's really great. It does give a sense of peace, and uh, it really is a beautiful thing. And the, the power of it, really, it does inspire me. It's a, it's a feeling I can't describe. Come and enjoy the beauty of Tacoa Falls yourself. It's open year-round. Admission fee is only a dollar, half price for seniors, children under 12 get in free.